Hey guys, uh, welcome back to part two of my Silent Hill series review. Uh, well, actually, this is recorded in, in the same. I just recorded the part one, but I think this is going to be uploaded a few days after the, the first part. Uh, but uh, continuing on uh, with the series, let's uh, get right into things. Uh, with Silent Hill Origins, now, this I've always this is kind of an interesting game in the series. Um, the first uh, Western-developed game... Uh, not 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 made in the states, but actually made in the UK. Uh, done by a studio by the name of Climax Studios. Uh, I, I I don't know. I didn't I didn't check. They might not be around anymore, though. Uh, they might. No, I think they might be. But um, this wasn't originally a, a PSP game. Uh, it did have a PS2 port eventually, but uh, this came out on the PSP and uh, I when it came out, I don't remember there being much hype for it. Uh, I remember just kind of like like one of those games that just kind of comes and goes um and i played this for the very first time uh fairly recently actually for my october uh horror game marathon i did uh last october um i played the ps2 version uh, not the psp version um and i gotta say this game actually surprised me uh for being like a western developed silent hill game um but at the same time uh i don't think this game's perfect uh what can I what can I say about Origins? Uh, I'll, I'll first talk about the story. Um, it's I gotta say the story is not very good, at least in my opinion. Uh, it, it goes back to like the cult um, uh, from Silent Hill One, which I I never found that interesting, uh, and I don't find it interesting here. And uh, it really kind of messes with like the Silent Hill universe. Uh, this game, like it's. I don't know, the story in this game really didn't need to be told. Uh, and the main character, uh, Travis, uh, he's like a trucker. Uh, he's very boring. Uh, he's, a, he's a very boring character. Uh, I, I really didn't care for the story in this game too much. Uh, the gameplay is very typical Silent Hill. Uh, ba they basically took like the template of Silent Hill 2 and 3, where you've got your, you know, you've got Silent Hill, you've got your, your dungeons, uh, you know, the hospital I think was in this game. Uh, the, all these locations that you got the nightmare world, uh, but in Origins you have to like touch these mirrors uh, to go between uh, to go between the dungeons or, or between the nightmare world and the normal world, which was was kind of interesting. It it, it got tedious at times, uh, but it was relatively interesting. Uh, you know, I think Origins. The reason why I liked it more than I think a lot of people do uh, is because I do, like I said before, I do like the formula. I like going through these these like dungeons and looking at my map constantly to see what I got to do and solving puzzles. Um, the combat in this game, I didn't actually mind too much. Uh, it's, it's generally the kind of the same as like Silent Hill two and three, uh, but weapons have like durability. They break really fast. Uh, but you're picking up all these weapons that are thrown about the environments. Uh, and they're so common that, uh, the durability never became a problem for me. Um, there's there's some interesting puzzles. I actually kind of like the puzzles in Origins as well. Uh, but for like I I don't know. I had a lot. Of, I had a good amount of fun with Origins, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, it's a very short game. It only took me like seven seven hours to go through. It's probably the shortest Silent Hill game. Um, but if if there's one problem I have with the game, uh, the biggest problem, and this this is like the big difference between a western developer like climax studios uh which they you know they they really went for like you know your standard silent hill experience like they really looked at uh silent hill 2 and 3 and wanted to, to craft that kind of game uh and you know they got the formula down they did not get the atmosphere unfortunately uh this origins is completely lacking in that regard it's not creepy it's not very disturbing. The enemies are very, they're, they're lame. They're really lame. Uh, I, I just, I didn't feel any sense of dread or fear from these environments, uh, in this game. Um, the atmosphere was definitely a big disappointment for me. Uh, so I think, I don't know. I think I like Origins more than a lot of people do. Uh, I think it, it mainly surprised me because I did actually have a, a good, a good amount of fun, uh, with it. And it was the first Silent Hill game I'd played, uh, for a, uh, for a long time, uh, it, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, I gotta say, it probably is one of the more underrated games in the series for me, but it definitely has a lot of problems. Uh, next we had Silent Hill Homecoming, uh, this copy, uh, Play Ongo, uh, here on YouTube, uh, 
uh, hooked me up uh, with this copy. Uh, and I want to thank you again for that, because uh, this was the last Silent Hill game I needed to play, the last one in the series. Uh, well, at least in the main series. Um, and I'm glad this is finally a part of my collection, because uh, uh, now I have a complete uh, Silent Hill collection. Uh, but, unfortunately, I gotta say, I, I can't lie, I gotta be honest, I actually hated this game. Um, uh, from start to finish, in fact, I don't think I enjoyed a single moment of this game. Uh, it, Double Helix Games, uh, were the guys who did this, um, a Western developer, uh, actually in, in the States. Uh, the story, I'll talk about the story first. Uh, it starts off interesting. Uh, you play a character, Alex Shepard. Uh, he re he's returning from war uh, to the village of uh, Shepard's Glen, uh, and your brother's gone missing, so you, you have to search for him. Uh, but very quickly, the plot becomes extremely predictable uh, and stays very uninteresting throughout. Uh, I I knew where this game was going, uh, like where the story of this game was going so early on. Every single twist they threw at you, I knew like, ahead of time. Uh, in fact, I, the story in this game I thought was terrible. Uh, like, it's the kind of shit you'd see in, like, a direct-to-DVD horror movie. Like, it was painfully bad with, like, horrendous, cheesy writing that was just... It made me laugh a, a bunch. It was... I thought it was really bad. Um, the atmosphere, uh, like with Origins, is completely lacking in this game. Uh, which is, again, one of the main differences. Like, Western developers, to me, they just can't get the atmosphere with Silent Hill. It just, it, it, there, you know, there's no sense of dread. This game's not disturbing whatsoever. The, the creature designs are so lazy. Uh, like, they're just so uninteresting. Uh, you know, the combat, there's no sense of urgency to the combat because uh, the combat was changed in this game to make it so that you could actually fight enemies. Uh, but I think this is the worst combat in the series. Um, I think it's actually terrible, the combat in this game. Uh, for one, it's extremely clunky. It's based around melee combat. Like, the, the firearm combat's not too bad. Uh, and you do get a lot of firearms in this game for it being, like, a survival horror game. Uh, but the melee combat is ba based around, like, light and heavy attacks and countering. The problem is, though... Enemies take so fucking long to kill in this game, even on like the easy action setting. Uh, it's not even that it's not even worth fighting enemies. But if you try to run away from enemies, they constantly respawn. The way this game is, is designed, when you're going through like these the dungeons, uh, it's got that typical Silent Hill formula. Um, you'll be going through a, a hallway. There'll be an enemy there, and you you know you, you kill that enemy. Uh, then next time you have to backtrack through that hallway. Like, two enemies will... Two more enemies will appear in that area. And the whole game is like that. Uh, like, there's a shit ton of backtracking in this fucking game. Like, the Silent Hill games have always had backtracking, but in this game, it was absurd. Uh, and the fact that enemies would constantly respawn uh, and you had to fight them was aggravating. And then you add to the fact that, you know, they, they take so long to kill and that every time you get hit, you get put into this, like... Honestly, it felt like it was a 10-second, like, stun lock animation where your your character would get hit and go like, Ugh! Ugh! And then, like, it took takes them forever to get back into, like, the fighting position. Uh, and it's so hard to, to counter enemies in this game. You never know when an enemy is going to, to attack you. Uh, the enemies have, like, really unpredictable attack patterns. They are incredibly annoying to deal with. Like, I fucking hated the combat in this game. Like, it was... It drove me nuts. Combine that with the lack of the total lack of atmosphere, uh, the awful story, uh, at least in my opinion. Like everything just came together in this game to really piss me off. Uh, I I gotta say I this game like, I mean this game is not known to be that great. Uh, it's generally considered to be a pretty bad game, but I I was shocked at how much I hated this. Uh, very disappointing to me. Um, like, honestly, I don't think there's anything good I could say about it, to be honest. The boss battles were fucking irritating and gimmicky. Like, I... Like, not, I couldn't... I cannot, seriously, I can't think of anything positive to say about this game. Like, I... I don't know. I... 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 Ugh. I, I don't know. It's unfortunate. I, I... I was... I really wanted to like this game. Like, I was... Because... I, I give these games, like, the benefit of the doubt, because I don't... I generally think, like, the Western Silent Hill games aren't as bad as people make them out to be. Uh, Homecoming, though, yeah. 
Ugh, did not did not care for for Homecoming. Actually, I do want to say the music, the Akira Yamoka soundtrack in Homecoming was g typically uh, good. Uh, not as good as in the Team Silent games, but it was pretty good. That's the only positive I can say about Homecoming. Uh, but after Homecoming, we had uh, Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Uh, Climax Studios did this one. Uh, they did Origins, uh, like I said before. Uh, it I think it, it originally came out on the Wii. Uh, then it got a PS2 and PSP port later. Uh, I played this on the Wii. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while since I played this. Um, this game actually gets a lot of love. Um, it's generally, I think, considered to be the best of the Western-developed Silent Hill games. Uh, I don't know if I'd agree with that. Um, there's a lot of things I like about this game. Um, for one, uh, it like essentially it's a reimagining of the first Silent Hill game. Um, there's the story is is very interesting. Uh, uh, it starts out with like a psychotherapy session where you're answering these questions, uh, and depending on how you answer these questions, uh, different things change in the game. Uh, that's all I want to say. Uh, it's really neat. Uh, and I gotta say, overall, the storyline in this game, I loved what they did with it. Uh, I loved how, like, what they did with, you know, this reimagining of the original Silent Hill. In fact, I... Well, I don't know. We'll have to wait till the rankings, I guess, to see whether I prefer it over the original Silent Hill, but... Uh, I think the story is definitely the highlight of this game, um, and it's what kept me playing uh, from start to finish, because unfortunately there's a lot of things I'm not too big on, but at the same time, I gotta say, I think they're more because of my preferences uh, with games. Um, the the game set out uh, set up in like two distinct sections, like you have your your like overworld section where you're in the, the town of Silent Hill, you're solving puzzles and exploring, and your the Wii mo motion controls are actually really cool in this game, where your, your flashlight is the Wiimote, and you're kind of aiming it around. Uh, like, the, the this game's use of motion controls is are actually really good. Uh, in fact, I'd recommend playing this game on the Wii, if you can. Um, so you've got these sections where you're exploring Silent Hill, uh, and this game is, it's, like, snowy. Like, Silent Hill is snowy instead of foggy. Uh, now, this is where my problem comes in, because... To me, that completely removes any kind of atmosphere. Uh, this game, like the previous Silent Hill games, uh, the previous Western Silent Hill games, I I didn't feel any sense of dread. Uh, it wasn't a disturbing game for me. Uh, in fact, I thought these exploration elements where you're exploring the town were kind of boring uh, because enemies will not attack you during these sections. There are, there is no combat during these these sections. In fact, combat is not a part of this game. Period. Um, what replaces combat are these, um, what do they call them? They're, they're, they're like the Nightmare World sections where they consist of, like, chase sequences where you gotta run through, like, these kind of, they're almost like obstacle courses, uh, and y you die if, like, this, they, they, this, like, force catches up to you. Um, these elements, I, I know a lot of people love them. I, I hated them, to be honest. I thought they were really tedious, uh, I didn't get any kind of, like, to me, they weren't really tense. They were just annoying. When I died at these sections, I was just aggravated. I was just kind of annoyed because I was like, well, fuck, now I have to do this again. I don't want to do this again. Uh, I don't know. I found them more annoying. Like, the first time I got to one of these sections, I thought it was kind of cool, but the the more complicated they got towards the end of the game, the, the I, like, I got really sick of them really fast. Uh, honestly, I think I probably would have preferred just normal, like, Nightmare World areas with actual combat, uh, and this is where I talk about, this is where I bring up the preferences thing, because honestly, I'm just not a fan of running away from enemies, uh, in, in horror games, or in games in general, like, it was, it was fine in Silent Hill 2 and 3, because you didn't have to do it too often, and you generally could take care of the enemies when they were around, uh, but this game, all it is, is running away from enemies, and I, I'm just not really a fan of that, uh, so, like, the actual gameplay in this game, I gotta say, I wasn't, I wasn't too big on it. Uh, I, it was either boring or annoying. Um, but the story is good enough that I was able to get past that. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the lack of atmosphere. Uh, the soundtrack is typically, uh, actually one of the better soundtracks, I think, in the series. Um, again, this game's got great ideas. I love the ideas. I love how it's not just, you know taking that, the Silent Hill blueprint, uh, like with Homecoming or Origins. 
Uh, you know, they tried something different with uh, Shattered Memories, and I appreciate that. I just, I don't know, I, I didn't quite like the game as much as a lot of people uh, seemed to. Uh, now, Silent Hill Downpour, uh, and I mentioned in uh, uh, Shattered Memories, when you're, the nightmare sections, the chase sequences, you're being chased by a force. Uh, you're, you're chased by enemies in that one. I, I was confusing Downpour with uh, Shattered Memories. In Downpour, those chase sequences return, but... Now you're being chased by this mysterious force. It basically looks like a black hole that's chasing you. Uh, and just like in uh, Shattered Memories, these the sections in this game are very tedious. Uh, I, I absolutely hate them, but um, Downpour. Uh, Downpour was done by Vatra Games, a European studio. In fact, I, now Climax Studios, I think, is actually still around, but Vatra Studios uh, are not. Uh, Downpour got kind of a mixed reception. I When this game came out, I remember seeing a lot of uh, mixed opinions. Like, a lot of people said it was, like, one of the best Silent Hill games in in years, and some people hated it. Uh, I kind of lean in the middle. Uh, I, actually, I'm probably overall more negative on this game than positive. Um, okay, uh, story-wise, I it didn't really impress me. Uh, in fact, honestly, I, I played this game pretty recently, and I... Honestly, I can't even really remember the storyline. Oh, yeah, you're a convict. Uh, you come to Silent Hill uh, in, in, like, a bus. Uh, you're a convict. Uh, and, like, it, it's... I don't know. Like with uh, Homecoming, this, this storyline seemed very, like, direct-to-DVD horror movie to me. Like, it was just completely uninteresting. Uh, the main character was okay. I, I didn't actually hate the main character too much. Uh, you had, like, dialogue choices you could make in this game, but, uh, and th that could uh, change things slightly. I think it, it affected, like, the ending you got, um, but none of, none of the endings I thought were all that satisfying. Like, uh, this, this, the twists were, were predictable, like with Homecoming. Uh, it was just a very, I, I didn't find the storyline very memorable, uh, <laughs> in Downpour. Um, gameplay wise it, it this game tries it, some new things uh of course you you're you know you still you know got silent hill the town uh but it's it's got a different structure uh you, you've kind of got dungeons sort of they're like mini dungeons uh in this game and then with like those aforementioned uh chase sequences thrown in and, and of course you've got you know the, the combat and the puzzles uh the puzzles I actually thought were pretty good in this game uh, the combat, um, it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Um, it, it reminds me of Homecoming a bit. Enemies take way too long to kill, even on, like, the lowest action setting. Uh, and towards the end of the game, it becomes way too combat heavy. Uh, it, it was kind of ridiculous. In fact, the, like, Downpour in general, I thought, got worse the more I played it. Uh, it, it it's, it, I don't know, like, the last part of the game I thought was really bad. And the final boss is like one of the most gimmicky, gamey final bosses uh, in Silent Hill history. Like, it is terrible. Like, the final boss in this game is fucking terrible. Um, but the unique thing about Downpour is, uh, like, are the side quests. There's side quests in this game. Uh, and that's where the more interesting story stuff uh, happens. Unfortunately, side quests in this game are very annoying to do because... They are not tracked uh, well at all. Like the, your map in this game, like it's one of the. This is one of the few Silent Hill games where I thought the map was really bad. Uh, they just they never like like a lot of the side quests will be like finding certain items thrown all around the city, but there's no way to track where you found certain items. Some side quests ne don't tell you where you're supposed to be going. Uh, like I loved the story aspects to them, but in terms of actually doing the side quests, I hated. I kind of hated them. Uh, I, I think they could have been done a lot better. I guess you also had, like, this rain concept. I'll, honestly, I don't even remember what it did. Like, it didn't affect hardly anything, uh, the whole the whole downpour part of the game. Uh, soundtrack was done by... It wasn't done by Akira Yamoko. I, for, I, for, I forget who did the soundtrack. Uh, it's it's not bad, actually. It's better than I thought it would be. Um, it's, it's different, uh, but it certainly uh, adds to the... Like, it feels like it, it would fit, like, a Silent Hill game. Uh, but, again, the problem of Downpour, along with all these Western Silent Hill games, the atmosphere is completely lacking. Like, this game, like, I... I don't know, I was kind of bored by it, because there was just nothing, you know... 
again, I don't scare her, you know, from video games, but, I mean, these environments were just, you know, they weren't creepy. I mean, the game wasn't creepy. The game didn't, in, like, didn't give me any sense of, like, tension or fear or anything. The game wasn't disturbing. Uh, it, it, you know, it just lacks an atmosphere. Uh, and it's really, I, I don't know, it's really tough to pinpoint, like, what is it? Like, what were teams, how were teams silent able to accomplish this? Like, this incredibly immersive, disgusting, creepy, disturbing atmosphere, but these Western developers, they just can't do it. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, Downpour was a definite failure in that regard. Uh, and I guess overall on Downpour, I guess I guess my general, my overall feelings on the game are just, like, that it's mediocre. Uh, it tries some interesting things, but I think at at the end of the day, it, it I, I don't know, it didn't, it, you know, I, I didn't really enjoy my time with it all that much. Uh, but it's definitely nowhere near as terrible as uh, as Homecoming was. Uh, and finally, Silent Hill Book of Memories, uh, the latest Silent Hill game, although this is a spin-off title and a very strange one. Uh, I picked this game up actually fairly recently. Uh, this is a hack-and-slash dungeon crawler RPG uh, set in the Silent Hill universe uh, where you choose like between like five characters in the beginning, like... You've got, like, a, a jock or a nerd or a... What else were the characters? Like, those kind of character classes. This this game is so bizarre. Um, like, the story seems utterly, utterly crappy. Like, I have only put in a couple hours into this. I want to play this multiplayer uh, fully because... Um, uh, single player, like, this game's hard as hell. Like, I've... I'm, like, three hours into it. I'm already, like, to the point where I, I can't, like, make any progress. Uh, it's... But it's actually pretty fun. I got a. I won't lie. I actually. I had a good time uh, with the. Like I had. I had fun with from what I've played. Um, it, it's just a very unique game. Uh, you're collecting these weapons. Uh, there's durability on them. You're leveling up your character. You're getting skills. Uh, you're going through like these. It's like an isometric view. You're going through like these room by room. Uh, it. It's almost too hard to explain. Like it's a very weird game, uh, but it's fun. I mean, the combat's kind of clunky, and it almost feels like the game's designed to be played with four people. Um, but yeah, uh, it's you know, I it's not. I'm not going to include it in the ranking. Uh, it is. It, I do. I did want to talk about it for a sec. Uh, but yeah, go look up like gameplay of it. Uh, it. This game's very cheap. I'd say pick it up. I mean, it got pretty terrible reviews, but I. From what I played, uh, it, it doesn't seem all that bad. Uh, it was actually pretty fun, uh, you know, because it because it's something different. I mean, it's not your typical Silent Hill game. Um, but uh, who did this? A Way Forward did this, too. Uh, a very, very weird game, but uh, pretty fun. Um, but yeah, that's, that's Book of Memories. Uh, and that's about it. Um, there are a couple things I want to talk about. Uh, the Silent Hill HD collection. Uh, this consists of Silent Hill 2 and 3. Uh, it's for the PS3 and 360, uh, the HD collection. Uh, it got a lot of hate uh, when this came out. Uh, <laughs> and rightfully so. Uh, they really messed up on a lot of... Uh, like, the, these, these, like, this collection is plagued with technical issues. Uh, if you have a choice... Uh, and you haven't played Silent Hill 2 or 3, try to try to play the PS2 versions. Uh, They're definitely superior, uh, unfortunately. That said, if you don't have a choice, I think they're serviceable. Uh, you know, I, it was my, I played Silent Hill 3 for the first time on this collection, and I didn't have any major problems other than, like, a frame rate drops when I was using, like, uh, machine guns, uh, which was a bit weird. Uh, but, yeah, I, 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 I do gotta say, like, go for the PS2 versions if, if you can. Uh, yeah, the HD versions are, they're kind of a mess. They could have been done a lot better. Um, other than that, uh, you know, another, I guess another reason why I did this video, uh, the, there was that recent, um, PT, uh, demo on the PS4. I, I haven't got to play it because I don't have a PS4 yet. Uh, and that turned out to be the new Silent Hill game that's being, that's in development, uh, Silent Hills. Uh, Hideo Kojima is uh, working on this uh, with Gilmar del Toro, uh, like uh, like combined effort. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, this is this is exactly what Silent Hill needed. Um, and if you know if you've listened to me so far, you've probably noticed that I'm far less kind uh, uh, with the Western developed Silent Hill games. 
And I, I mean, I, I just got to say, like, I, I think time, Team Silent did a much better job with this series. They knew what the series was about. Um, where, like, the Western developers, I, I feel like they just didn't understand what, you know, what Silent Hill was about. And to me, at least, I mean, I guess some people might look at the Silent Hill series in different ways. But to me, it's always, to me, like, they're at their best when it's all about the atmosphere, uh, you know, it, you know, it's it's pure survival horror in that sense, where the atmosphere is so foreboding, so disturbing and, and, and creepy and unsettling that you almost don't even want to play. And the first Silent Hill four games brought me that, uh, where the Western games just couldn't. Um, you know, I at the same time though, I don't think the Western games are all that bad. Uh, you know, I I played through them all, uh, with Homecoming being the only one I outright hated. Uh, but this new one, Hideo Kojima, he, he could be, I think he's a, a great choice for this new Silent Hill. I, I you know, it's, it's, it's to be being developed by a, a, a all Japanese team. Uh, and that PT demo, uh, from what people are saying, like it nails the atmosphere, uh, and is apparently pretty damn, uh, creepy. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to this new one. I don't think it's going to be out to like 2016 or something, but, uh, of course, Norman Reedus is like the starring character, which... Okay, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm definitely looking forward to that uh, whenever that comes out. Uh, but that will do it uh, for part two. Uh, stay tuned for part three where I'll, I'll rank the series from my least favorite all the way to my favorite.